Mr. President Trump, Your Majesty, I just want to say on your behalf that I'm a Republican, and I believe you wholeheartedly. Truly, when you say the election was stolen from you, it's as clear as day. And of course, you didn't commit tax fraud. Why would you? Business fraud? Preposterous. Embezzling millions from your Trump Foundation charity or scamming your university students out of millions? Pure fiction. I firmly believe you didn't cheat on your wife with a porn star and a Playboy model. The $130,000 you supposedly paid to silence the porn star right before the 2016 election? Nonsense. And those allegations of sexual assault in a department store dressing room? Ludicrous. Conspiring to steal the 2020 election by creating false slates of electors? Not a chance. The attempted hanging of your vice president? A mere misunderstanding. And the accusations from over 25 women? Baseless. Entering the Miss Teen USA changing room where underage girls were undressed? Ridiculous. The classified documents found hidden in your bathroom and the government's attempts to retrieve them? All lies. Extorting Ukraine to interfere in the 2020 election and encouraging Russia in 2016? Impossible. Undermining the nation's pandemic response and letting a deadly disease spiral out of control for months? Not you. Orchestrating a month-long coup attempt culminating in a violent insurrection? Absurd. Spewing deranged conspiracy theories about climate change, immigration, vaccines, windmills? Never. Impeached twice and convicted of crimes? Irrelevant. Banned from doing business in New York for three years? I don't care. I'll still do business with you and move to New York just for that purpose. Paying half a billion dollars in business fraud fines? No way. You're innocent. Taking millions from foreign governments while president? Pure slander. And to top it all off, I believe you when you say you're not a rapist, not a thief, not a grifter, not a liar, a philanderer, not a narcissist, not a glutton, not a bully, and certainly not a complete ignoramus. And of course, you don't cheat at golf.